When you come to an old growth redwood forest, you want it to look like this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. But only 4.6% of our original old growth forest, when I say original, I mean what it was like when the colonists came here in the 1850, whatever, around there. There's 4.6% of that forest that there was in 1850 left. But this is like what 80,000 of the 120,000 acres of Redwood National Park looks like. See how all these trees are really close together? This isn't a good forest. They all grew up the same age and they got this canopy that was so thick that it blocked most of the sunlight. Notice there's no vegetation on the ground, hardly at all. So since there's little vegetation on the ground, there's not a lot of food for pollinators or birds. And this is what most of your Redwood National Park looks like. Now, I know you've seen forests like this in the movies and there was like elves and stuff in there, but elves and stuff wouldn't be in this kind of forest. This is a forest that has been clear cut and then aerial seeded with rodenticide covered seeds. So you don't have to be a forester to see that there's probably consequences of this type of super poor management. What are some of those consequences? What do you think would be consequences of having most of our forests look like this in the West? In an old growth forest, you have big, giant, 300 some foot tall redwood trees like this. And down logs that have a bunch of cool stuff growing on it that we call nursery logs. You have big, huge, giant burrows like this. And, and this, 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 and this. And this. And this is what's in between the fragments, the islands of old growth. So you think we have 4.6% of the old growth forest left, but it's not all in one spot. They're in islands, and between the islands is seas and seas and oceans of this dog hair thicket. So at Redwoods Rising, we are trying to restore this forest, which means that we are cutting out a lot of these trees because there's too many trees. The Redwood Rising is a combination of Redwood National Parks, State Parks, and Save the Redwood League. In front of me is where we've gone through once and thinned already. Notice all the vegetation growing on the ground? Lots of green, more birds, more berries, more bees, more habitat. And we, we thin cut this once. We may come and thin cut it again. So after treatment, after Redwood Rising treatment, before Redwood Rising treatment, lots of wildlife and birds, hardly any wildlife and birds. May not burn all the way down to the ground, probably will burn all the way down to the ground because the trees are so close together. You can donate to help us clean up forests like this at redwoodsrising.org. And you can follow us here and on other platforms, the FB platform and the play button platform. We will keep you up to date on how we're helping nature to help itself.